signal tracer. I'm going to build a signal tracer, one of these things. Uh, I'm using the plans out of a magazine, television, uh, May 1989. And uh, for those, well, I guess if you clicked on this video, you know what a signal tracer is. Uh, but as a quick summary, um, this is uh, practical transistor servicing by Caldwell from the 1960s. There's a very nice little description here of a signal tracer, what it can do. Essentially, it's like an audio amplifier with a little bit of um, RF demodulation or RF detection as well. And it lets you sample the audio chain of a radio. So radio, hey, you have an antenna, then you have this sort of converter that mixes with a local oscillator. Then you have intermediate frequencies to get the RF frequency to a, a known uh, frequency that you can work with and filter out. Now you're going to de detect the audio and amplify it um, out to the speaker. And if anything breaks along in that chain, if, say, you don't hear anything in the speaker, and you're trying to figure out, well, where's the fault? Well, the circle, uh, the, sorry, the signal tracer lets you kind of insert a probe at different points in the, in the chain inside the, the radio, and it kind of diverts the signal into the amplifier and speaker in the signal tracer. Exhibit A. Uh, so uh, it's a useful debugging tool for working on transistor radios, and um, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. So um, basically, I built uh, the probe which is here, and uh, two hands. Basically, I'm embedding this into uh, an old pen. You can see here, if I can get it to focus. Uh, let's have a look. There you go, some diodes, resistors, capacitors, a little tip there going into the pen. I don't have a nut to hold the tip on, but I'm using a screw, uh, sorry, a spring. And uh, yeah, it all fits and slots together nicely. And um, I can push it back in, and then you put the top on, wiggle, 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 if I get this in, and then we screw it up. There we go. So that becomes the RF probe out here. That little white wire is the ground contact point. You would ground it and then sample your circuit this way. So that's the first part of the signal tracer, and uh, let's can see how this video evolves when I build the rest of it. This uh, homemade RF probe, as I explained, uh, contains a circuit board which uh, is used to demodulate the RF from the uh, from the radio or, or source under investigation and sent to the signal tracer. And you also need a regular one, an audio uh, probe. This is simply uh, the tip connected to the wire, uh, and then you screw it in, and uh, yeah, goes off to the same kind of wire, plugs in, but this time it's just a passive probe. There's nothing inside it apart from really the wire and um, the ground clip that you've added to the side of it. This ground clip is connected to the screened cable in here. So take a look at the uh, article PDF and you'll see what I'm doing here. But this is essentially the audio probe. So we have a pair. And uh, yeah, so the build is continuing and um, yeah, hope should be uh, should be a lot of fun to try and test it out. Given the probes are working, um, we can certainly uh, well this is just basically a continuity. If if you can, if the tip connects to the back to the to the uh, jack, then it works. That's not really interesting. Um, this one, though, does need to be uh, tested, and uh, what we'll do is we'll set up uh, some RF, modulated RF signal, and see if we can look at what the, uh, the output is. All right, so let's put the signal generator to the test. Um, I've thrown together the circuit. It took me a little while. I'm not particularly experienced at working with VeraBoard, but... Uh, I put all the components on this um, off-cut board that I had, the spare board, and um, it seems to be working okay. Uh, essentially what it is, is it's a two-stage high-gain amplifier, right? Uh, it just amplifies anything, and, and usually when, a, when you throw these things together, um, 
if you kind of if you're kind of careless and rough and ready with wires, it picks up a lot of junk and can start to oscillate and so on. But uh, these wires are only sort of a prototype. The board is good. I think I'm going to use the board in the final uh, case, and I'll make a better job of wiring in the the various knobs and switches and lights and so on <clears throat> into the case. But essentially, the um, the device runs off a, a large PP9 9 volt battery. And when you switch it on, the first stage goes to this LM386, uh, 386, LM386, yeah, uh, audio amplifier. And that is good for your audio uh, probe, uh, testing speakers and so on, and, and you know output drivers and stuff. If you need the higher gain, you'd switch into this op amp. And, and this, this is where you need to have a split um, supply of batteries. So the LM386 operates 0 volts to 9 volts. Okay, so there's your source. The second stage requires minus 9 volts to plus 9 volts. <clears throat> And so you include a smaller, a second 9 volt battery to provide that negative rail. So in all cases, either you're using this supply for the first stage or this supply plus this one for the second stage. And so most of the current is coming from here, so it's bigger, and this is used only when necessary. <clears throat> so I uh, let's test it. Um, I've got. Uh, we'll switch it on. I've got the maximum gain set up here. We'll switch both stages on. <clears throat> And we'll connect the uh, the RF probe into a uh, signal source, signal generator. Um, and I don't know if you can see the details here. The camera is uh, maybe maybe going to focus. Uh, we've got a what do we got? We've got a um, one megahertz sim signal uh, with a five millivolts RMS. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What else? Have I got a modulation choice. I'm going to do an AM modulation. Uh, it's going to be 80% uh, uh, depth at 440 hertz, which is an A tone. So this is the the audio sound impressed upon the underlying RF in um, in uh, <clears throat> in the signal. So that's like your my test for uh, radio broadcast uh, audio modulation. So let's switch it on. You don't really hear much. So it's a quiet hiss. Switch on the second stage. And now you're getting a much brighter hiss. This is much more magnified. And in fact, that's what you'd expect from a signal tracer. Because my body is acting as a as an antenna of sorts for all sorts of uh, frequencies, and you're picking that up and amplifying it through the uh, through the box. So I have the ground set up here and let's switch on the output. And what do we get? Oh. There you go. There's your A note. And if we go back to the modulation here, and if I do this with one hand. It works. So this probe is uh, demodulating the audio and stripping it out and sending it into the circuit to be amplified, which is exactly what you'd expect a tool to do if you were debugging um, an AM radio. So this should be able to work with the audio signals on top of the RF inside the, the early stages of uh, an AM radio, for example, an IF stage, or maybe the mixer, converter, uh, transistor. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> the next stage is to kind of put this together in a box and uh, enjoy using it. All right, as, uh, as an observation of the kind of case, the Build instructions say to use a plastic case. Well, certainly not a metal case. 
And I had thought of using this uh, case that I picked up years ago, kind of a nice instrument case. It's got venting for uh, speaker and so on, but it's metal. And I don't want to build it and then find that it doesn't work because it's metal and it picks up uh, too much external hum or, or whatever. So um, I'm going to use this old wooden case. I found this at a charity store. And I think it's maybe related to art supplies or something. <clears throat> it's kind of nice because it's got double sides. And if you just open it up, you know, you get a nice... Uh, a nice case and I think it's 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 pretty pretty ideal because it'll take the chunky battery I got a big ass uh, speaker to go in there and you can imagine that mounted on the front panel uh, it all fits I can close up um, the supply there's plenty of room to put the board and the boards only gonna be uh, where are we here this piece here I'll break the rest off and save it for another project uh, and maybe if I can think of a good idea, put the uh, signal tracer on this side, <clears throat> then I can turn around, maybe build in another circuit on this side. So it might be a multi-test box. Who knows? Um, yeah. So that's that's how it's going to be built.